Apple's iOS 17.4 update is on the way with a deadline of March 6 to meet regulatory requirements in the European Union. This update is significant for iPhone users, especially those in EU countries, as it introduces the ability to sideload apps for the first time in compliance with the EU's Digital Markets Act. Beyond this landmark change, the update brings several security enhancements and improvements in how battery data is displayed to iPhone 15 users. While many users may simply install the update without issue, I advocate for taking following precautionary measures to ensure a seamless update process and protect against potential data loss. Number one, first of all, you have to check will your iPhone get iOS 17.4. To know that here is a complete list of iPhone models that will be offered the update. Number two, if you're someone who relies on your iPhone, you might be tempted to delay the update for a few days so you can see just how buggy this release is, or maybe even wait for the iOS 17.4.1 bug fix release that will be rolled out soon after. If you insist on taking this course of action, you do need to make sure that your iPhone isn't going to automatically update itself during that time. Tap on Settings, then General, and then Software Update, and turn off automatic updates until you are ready to update. Number three, you have to update your apps and free up space if you're the sort of person who has disabled automatic updates and forgets to do it manually. Running older apps on the new release could cause glitches and issues. Number four, it is recommended to take backup of your data. One in the cloud in case things go bad, and one on a PC or Mac in case things go really bad. Number five, you have to know your iCloud password because you'll need to enter your iCloud password to be able to reconnect to all your data and apps and photos. Otherwise, you'll be in deep trouble. Number six, before downloading and installing the update, do these two more things. First, you have to charge your device and then check your connectivity because it's far better and less frustrating to carry out the update over a fast and reliable connection.